Imagine a world where every drop of water comes with a price tag, where the liquid of life is controlled not by nature, but by corporations. Would you feel comfortable living in such a society? This is the thought-provoking question we delve into today, as we explore the complex and controversial issue of water privatization. On one side of the debate, we have those who believe that privatization of water resources could be the answer to the world's water crisis. This perspective is championed by individuals like the former head of Nestle, who argues that corporations, with their efficiency and innovation, could manage these precious resources more effectively than the public sector. They suggest that privatization may lead to improved water infrastructure, better service delivery, and, ultimately, more reliable access to clean water. Moreover, proponents of water privatization argue that putting a price on water could discourage wasteful use and promote conservation. They believe that when people are made to pay for every drop, they will inevitably value it more and be more mindful of their consumption. However, on the other side of the debate, we find a strong opposition to the idea of water privatization. Critics argue that water is a fundamental human right, not a commodity to be bought and sold. They fear that privatization could lead to water becoming unaffordable for the poorest sections of society, deepening the divide between the haves and the have-nots. Moreover, opponents of privatization express concern about the lack of accountability and transparency in the private sector. They argue that when profit is the primary motive, corporations may neglect the environmental and social aspects of water management. So where does this leave us? The debate on water privatization is far from settled. It's a complex issue with valid arguments on both sides. On one hand, there's the potential for improved efficiency and conservation. On the other, there's the fear of unaffordable water and lack of accountability. As we navigate through the 21st century, grappling with the impacts of climate change and population growth on our water resources, it's clear that we need to find sustainable and equitable solutions. Whether privatization is part of that solution remains to be seen. But one thing is certain, the importance of water in our lives cannot be overstated. It's not just a resource, it's the very essence of life. And as such, it deserves to be managed with the utmost care and respect, regardless of who holds the reins. So, as we wrap up our discussion today, remember this. The future of water is a shared responsibility. It's a conversation that involves us all. So let's keep the dialogue flowing, just like the water that sustains us all. Because every drop counts.